All the ammo used in this video was brought to you by Nosler, maker of the most innovative, most accurate, and most effective bullets and ammunition in the industry. Yeah. Lately I've been living like I can't take a loss. They want to help me, that's what made me a boss. You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man. We don't give a shit, that's what they don't understand. I'm back again like this. So I received a question from somebody asking me, what is my favorite concealed carry Glock? So for all of you who've been following me for a while, you knew that before it was my Glock 26. Um, that has been knocked off its pedestal now by my Glock 43X. And largely because I think the Glock 43X is the best Glock in their lineup for concealed carry, at least for me. And I'll tell you why. Started from the bottom up. So I have my gun set up in a very particular way for, for reasons that I'm gonna tell you now. So started from bottom up, with the Shield Arms magazine, I get 15 rounds along with a metal base plate that has an indention on the bottom, which if I find myself with a malfunction on my gun, I can rip that magazine out easily. Then you have the Shield Arms magazine well on the bottom here, which helps with the speed of my reloads. So people underestimate how much a magazine well can improve the speed of your reloads. It does a great job of doing that. But then on top of that, on top of that, it doubles as almost aiding in my ability to grip the gun better. Because this little bump right here causes almost like a, a corkscrew effect where the gun feels more secure in my hand because of this little wedge here. So then you have, of course, you know, stock grip. I didn't want to change anything on the grip largely because I think this does a good enough job. If I did do it, it'd be purely for aesthetics. Um, I uh, left the magazine magazine release pretty stock. Um, I am gonna change that to a metal magazine release from Shield Arms. Uh, they do recommend doing that. So I'm gonna be doing that soon. Also, um, the trigger I kept stock. And the reason why I kept it stock is because anybody who knows anything about Glock triggers, when you get a stock Glock trigger, you're gonna get one in the two ends of the spectrum. You're either gonna get really good or really bad. In this particular case, this Glock has a really good trigger. I like this trigger a lot because you have a nice clean take up a nice definable wall and a crisp break. That's all I can ask for as far as a stock trigger is concerned. Um, and I will say that the more you shoot Glock triggers, they do improve over time. So let's go further. We have a light rail here um, on this particular 43X. And I, I this is the MOS 43X. And I got that specifically for the fact that of course I wouldn't be able to put a red dot on there. But then also I have a light rail here. So if I want to get a miniaturized light, uh, say like a Surefire XSC or something of that sort, uh, I can run that on my gun as well whenever I want it to. Now let's go on to these iron sights. These iron sights are suppressor height sights. The reason why I had those is because I wanted to be able to co-witness these sights with my red dot. And so while also having night sights. So if you look on the back here, you have these two circle night sights on the rear and then one in the front. They're the same color. During the day, they look clear. At night, they glow green um, and they do what they're supposed to do. On top of that also, I was going to actually get a threaded barrel for this gun and I still am. I'm just not gonna really run it like that most of the time whenever I do decide to carry this gun, largely because since I carry appendix, I don't. I wanna keep this slide as short as possible. Um, because when, as you know, with appendix carry, the length of the slide plays a bigger part in comfort more so than the length of your grip. When you're carrying in three o'clock, the grip plays a bigger part than the length of the slide. Um, so for me, I just like a shorter slide with a longer grip setup. I've always liked that, but I'll get to that later. I know you were just watching the video. I just want to take a quick second to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Euro Optic. Right now, they are killing it with their red shipping program. So thank you, Euro Optic, for supporting the channel. Um, so when I do carry this gun, I carry it with a Raven Concealment Vanguard 2 holster. Now, theoretically speaking, this really ain't a holster. It's more of a trigger guard cover but it does the job of a holster minus the ability to reholster. You can reholster, I just wouldn't recommend it. So what this does is it keeps the gun as minimal as possible because a lot of times you get holsters that are very functionally good, but they add a lot of bulk to the gun. I don't like that. I like to carry minimal style guns, generally speaking, um, whenever I can. And so with this particular holster, it keeps it minimal, covers the trigger guard, also gives me a clip to run on my belt and it gives me a wing to, to even minimize the footprint of this gun even more so by pushing it against my body. So the 43X for me 
is a great gun, especially considering the capacity that I get with the Shield On magazines is because it is a little boy that can do big boy duties. And what I mean by that is this gun shoots a lot bigger than it really is. When I'm shooting this gun, I don't feel like I'm shooting a small gun. I shoot like I'm, I feel like I'm shooting a bigger gun. Now, sure, I could probably shoot better with a bigger gun, but I don't mentally, as far as my confidence and comfort, this doesn't make me feel insecure from the standpoint of, hey, I rather have had a bigger gun in this particular situation. I have the same capacity, generally speaking, but I just have a smaller footprint gun. And the shooting characteristics of this gun, honestly, are pretty much on par with its bigger brothers like the 19, the 19X, the 45, uh, the 48. I just, generally speaking, like the setup of a smaller slide with a longer grip, personally. That's just me. And I can run this gun fast, I can run this gun accurately, and draw. And another thing too with having the longer grip is when I go to actually draw the gun, I can find the grip easily instead of having a grip that's a little too small and I have to go hunting for it. So that's something that I also kind of think about too whenever I decide to carry a particular gun is understanding that the smaller you go, the harder it is for you to get to that gun quickly. Keep that in mind. But you know, shooting fast, shooting slow, shooting from far, shooting from close, 43X kind of does it for me in the Glock lineup. Um, I don't, with this, I don't really honestly have a desire to have a 19 or uh, a 20 or 22 or anything like that. I still have them, but if I had to pick one Glock, this will probably be it. Um, not only just for concealed carry, but just kind of general purpose, if I'm just gonna be honest, because it's, to me, the most versatile gun in their lineup. So that's my 43X. Um, so to answer the question, what is my favorite concealed carry Glock in their lineup? It's gonna be this 43X MOS for the reasons I basically just told you. Chat. Guns aren't political. That's why I need your help getting this message to spread on YouTube by clicking the thumbs up button, leaving a comment to let me know what you think of the video, then subscribing to the channel. But most importantly, click that bell symbol. For products featured in this video, click the links in the description.